the Amoeba Quadruplets, and today we will be talking about the cell cycle! Uh-huh! Uh-huh! Hee <laughs> hee! The cell cycle is a series of events that takes place in order for a cell to be able to divide or duplicate. In this video, we will, tell, we will be telling why the cycle is important and about the specific stages that a cell must go through in the cell cycle. Let's begin with this importance. Cell division is important to organisms because it allows cells to grow, heal, and reproduce by producing two genetically identical daughter cells that can survive and reproduce on their own. However, many people are often deceived by the misconception that organisms can grow by cell division, but the cells themselves do not increase their size and, or mass. This is actually false because cell growth happens to be before cell division. Cell growth happens when cytoplasmic mass and surface area increases, which is what happens in a growing organism. In addition to that last one, people also get deceived by the misconception that in early development of an organism, cells that result from cell division do not grow and divide again. In mitosis, when cells divide, they have everything they need to divide again, so daughter cells can grow and divide again because of DNA replication. Now that we have cleared some general points in cell division, let's dive into the specific and what specifically happens during a, a cell's division. During this process, a cell must undergo a series of phases before the two new genetically identical daughter cells are produced. Now, the quadruples were thinking, how can we make you guys, our fanatical fans, truly understand the phases that occur in cell division? Well, we decided that we would tell you the story, A Cell Memory, which is very similar to A Christmas Mary Memory, written by the famous author Truman Capote. Uh-huh! It's Cell Cake Leather, Buddy's friend exclaimed. I knew it before I got out of bed. Oh, Buddy, stop stuffing biscuits and fetch our buggy. Help me find my hat. We have 30 cell cakes to bake. It was that time of year when Buddy and his friend would bake cell cakes. The cell cakes required many ingredients that they would find in various locations all throughout their town. The first ingredient was DNA polymerase. Another ingredient was centrioles. So Buddy and his friend went to the fish fry and dancing cafe down by the river that belonged to the frightening and scary Mr. Ha Ha Jones. Frightened, they knocked at the door and said, Mr. Ha Ha, anyone home? We'd like a quarter of your finest centrioles and some nice DNA polymerase. To their surprise, he was nothing like the scary man that people described him as and even gave them the centrioles and DNA polymerase for free. There's a lovely man. We put an extra cup of cells in his cake. At the house, as Buddy and his friends were putting all the ingredients together, Buddy's friend said, Ah, oh, Buddy, I knew when I was forgetting, I was forgetting something in the, the cells. That's what, that's what gives the cake that um, cell flavor. Buddy said, Oh, that's easy. Just find any old one and let it mix. Now, now, it's not that simple. The delectable, scrumptious, savory, and sweet flavor can only be achieved through a cell in each of the phases of cell division. Well, what are those phases? Now here, we should stop the story about this a cell cake memory and tell you about the phases of cell division a little more clearly. But before we tell you all of these phases, we must remind you of this misconception. That is, that in early development of an organism, cells cells grow in size but the number of cells remain constant however this is false because in early development of an organism the cells grow in size but they are also increasing in number this is because of cell division and mitosis therefore the number of cells does not re remain constant as the cells divide and more are created through mitosis but let's go back to the phases well it all begins with interphase this is the phase where the cell is growing and synthesizing new molecules and organelles. The nucleus does not change much, but organelles, centrosomes, and chromosomes are duplicated before mitosis. Centrosomes are two centrioles paired together at a right angle. Interphase accounts for 90% of mitosis. With These two things. identical sister chromatids, the formation of the spindle begins to form as spindle fibers either join another spindle fiber or connect to the centromere of a chromosome. Following that, it goes into prometaphase. The nuclear envelope breaks into fragments and microtubules emerging from the centrosomes reach the chromosomes, which are highly condensed. The spindle microtubules attach to the kinetic cores and move to the center. Followed by prometaphase is metaphase. The spindle is fully formed and centromeres arrange on the imaginary disc called the metaphase plate, sort of like the equator. The kinetic cores of each chromosome face opposite poles of the spindle and microtubules attach each of the sister chromatids from a pole to a chromatid. 
The cell then goes into anaphase. The centromeres begin to separate, separating the sister chromatids. Spindle fibers help separate the sister chromatids. The motor proteins of the kinetochores move the sister chromatids to opposite sides of the microtubules of spindle fibers. Directly after anaphase comes telophase, or which is the reverse of prophase. It begins when the two groups of chromosomes reach the poles and the cell elongates in nuclei nuclear envelopes begin to form at the two poles of the cell. The chromatin uncoils and nuclei appear, reappear. And to end it all off, the cell goes through cytokinesis. This is the only time in which the phase differs between animal and plant cell. The division of the cytoplasm occurs along the telophase. In an animal cell, cleavage furrow appears at the middle and divides the cytoplasm into two equal halves, each with a nucleus and a cell membrane. In a plant cell, a cell plate is formed at the middle. The cell plate that forms is the basis and structure for the future cell wall of that cell. In this photo, we saw an animal cell as there is a cleavage furrow that appears, not a cell plate that occurs in plants. For Buddy and his friend, they obtain their final ingredient of cell division. However, there is a huge misconception that cytokinesis is part of the process of mitosis. Mitosis and cytokinesis are two different yet similar processes. Mitosis is what splits the chromosomes, however, cytokinesis is what actually splits the cytoplasm and splits the cell in into two daughter cells. With all these ingredients and phases of mitosis, we can make a succulent, scrumptious, sweet, and savory cell cake. Of cell division and the story from Truman Capote about a cell cake memory, you are able to understand all the phases that occur in order for a cell to su successfully complete cell division. To recap, there's interphase, then prophase, then prometaphase, then metaphase, then anaphase, then telophase. And last but not least, cytokinesis. Now, now, before we end, the quadrupeds would like to clarify a misconception that our faithful fans may have. That is, that in the early development of an organism, the organisms grow in size and mass without cell division or growth. However, this is false because cell division is what causes the organism to grow. Because as the number of cells increase, so does the organism. Cell growth also makes organ the organism larger because as the cells grow larger in number and size, it takes up more space and volume, making the organism larger, which means the organism is growing. Good for the amoeba quadruplets, and we remind you to stay curious.